Hang on. Hey, what's up guys? Love Day here, and you're probably wondering why are you sitting on a beanbag in the middle of the floor? Um, where's your rig? Well, as you can see, my rig's over there. A couple of weeks ago, somebody uh, asked me in the comments on my Simitech K2 video. So there. Um, basically, can you use the Simitech K2 as just a wheel stand? Now, I'd never thought of it, because obviously I bought a seat with it. But I wanted to give it a go. So, let's do that. Uh, right, so first things first, we're going to have to take some screws out. Um, I've already started. I'll tell you why at the end of the video. It's not important. So what you're going to need is you're going to need some... You know, we should have like the, you know, those prop building videos where they tell you like everything's sped up and they just tell you what you're going to need, how to do it all. I feel like we need that. Uh, cue voiceover me, I guess. Hey guys, this is Love Nuts with Love Day, and today we're going to be showing you how to disassemble the Simotech K2. The tools you'll be needing are an Allen key, and the other one. Basically, what you have to do is you have to. I'm, I'm bored of that. Uh, you just kind of uh, unscrew it. You kind of, yeah, you Allen wrench at the bottom, and Allen wrench. I don't know what. I'm, you grip it at the bottom. You twist it at the top, both sides, two on each, and then it comes apart. And then, like, you're done. There's some ones on the side, too. Right. So, if my math is correct, and it never is, this should just slide apart. Let's find out. <sighs> Nailed it. Right, so. <laughs> I already knew this was going to work, because I've recorded this three times so far. Um... <laughs> <laughs> but it surprises me every time that it just works. It just sits there and just itch. This is still as solid as the K2 was with the seat on it, um, which is still surprising to me. But uh, yeah. Let's put a seat on it. Near it. Near it. We're doing that one. We're not doing the full. We're doing it near. I've got a perfect seat. Hang on. Right, so. Here is a semi deflated bean bag because I hate having the ones that are too. Is it just me? No? Okay. So, so far, I'm not going to push the pedals in. I'll tell you because I've got cables wrapped around. Just. This isn't the seating position I want. Uh, I'll be honest. So let's get a different chair. Right, I think this is better, right? This is just, this is how people drive. That's better. I'm going to tell you some adjustments need to be made to make this suitable for a test chair. So I can tell you already the shift is fine where it is. Handbrake, it's quite low. You're resting your arm on it. You can kind of just... I don't know if you, you can't even see that. What's the point of me telling you about it? What needs to change? This needs to be higher. This needs to angle towards me more so I don't hit my hit my thighs, my thick thighs. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do that. Q voiceover man. Me, it's me. Welcome back to Luck Nuts with Love Day, and what you're gonna do is why do I keep doing that? Um yeah, you just unscrew uh those bits twist nuts and then there's a couple going through the side as well that keep it in place so you just take those off uh that's how you lift it up and down um and you angle that same again just hold one twist the other and then angle it and then tighten it back up again that's about it right so i've adjusted it to basically where i want it uh when i say i want it i want my chair back on it but i'm doing this for you and um, i'll throw the comment up here there it is um this is for you mate i'm <laughs> making this video for you uh, and for anyone that actually wants to know if you can use it as a wheel stand, 
but I can safely say, yes. Yes, you can. You see a chair that's quite low, and preferably not with wheels. Or you can lock the wheels. Because this load cell brake. I do have a tip though. Um, hang on. If you have random bits of metal lying around like I do, uh, I think this is from my GT Omega uh, old one thing. Um, just wedge it behind your wheels. That's what I do. Oh. Get it to where you want it. Out there. Shove it in. Lock it down. <sighs> Give it a go. Still slides back, but chances are I'm gonna push the other way. <laughs> right. Now, I'm gonna try and plug it in without crashing my PC this time. Because the last time it did. Got to this point. I got to this point. Right here. And my PC crashed. I lost a game. I'm gonna try and launch a game, make sure the PC doesn't crash, and uh, we'll see it in action. And we'll see it in action, um, hopefully, maybe, if it doesn't crash again. Oh, Star Wars in this bitch. Right, so, um, I'm gonna jump into uh, basically Project Cars, uh, give it a go, and uh, see how this thing performs. I say performs and this thing, uh, I know how it works, just does it work well as a wheel stand. Uh, sorry, it's really, I literally haven't used it in three weeks. I don't know if you've noticed my upload schedule, which there isn't one. Um, yeah, it's been a while. So let's just jump into some project cars and uh, drive the car with this. Yep. Alrighty, here we are, uh, project cars two. Uh, I'm going to be driving the BMW 1M Coupe because I used to own that car. Um, driving around Brandsat Jindy because that's my local track. And uh, yeah, let's let's just jump in. Um, I believe we're going to be going manual. So that'll give you a full uh, idea of how you know everything goes and feels and if it's up to, up to scratch and everything. Um, I may slide about a bit. My seating position isn't perfect, but I have just, have just chucked this together. Um, <laughs> so... Oh, yes. Alrighty, so here we go, out of the pits. Oh, that's not the pit exit. Uh, hey! Righty, so... Basically what I'm telling you now is... Oh, I don't feel any movement, um, which is surprising. Bit of heel-toe action. I just realise I'm only wearing socks, so the load cell is feeling mighty heavy. Okay, that's just the car being squirmy. But it's a good test for this as a wheel stand. Will it move about? And so far... No. No, it's not moving about. Ignore my driving, I literally haven't driven in three weeks. Like I said, oh, very slidey. The hill toe action. I'm just trying to push this thing at the moment to see if it will move. So ignore my driving, I am terrible. This is more of just a test than anything else. Really dodgy shifts. Bring it around. Oh. Very squirmy. Now, the reason why I chose Project, Project Cars 2 was because I tried to open Grid. Uh, <laughs> And that immediately crashed my whole computer. So I thought I'd go with something that isn't owned by Codemasters. Oh wait. Um. <laughs> that was a lot of counter steer going on there and this thing just didn't move. Alright, let's go for one semi-decent lap. I won't bother with... <laughs> semi-decent doesn't even put pressure on the brake. Right, got my little racing booties back on. Um, I haven't put the foot cam on today because usually, I'm rolling backwards, usually it crashes my PC. So <laughs> only when it's 
been plugged in for a couple of days, it then stops crashing my PC. So anyway, let's try and do a proper lap using the Simitech K2 as a wheel stand, which I didn't think I'd be doing anytime soon. So here we go. It's going to be terrible driving. The chair may slip. Also, I'm sitting slightly to the left at the moment. I can already feel the chair going. Put the power down. That was a bit shit through there, but doesn't really matter. Oh, okay. Ignore the lap time invalidation. We'll keep this lap as a lap. I'm really just trying to push this thing, and it's. The thing staying still is the chair that's moving, I'll, I'll be honest. Bit slow, D. Oh. Nice line through there, slow but nice line. Hit the apex all the way around. Wasn't a nice line. And we're crossing the line at, what was it, 55 potential? That was a 54, I think. I mean, I'll take it. Let's see. Let's see if we can bash into a wall and uh, cause this thing to move a little bit. Oh. Grass isn't doing anything to it, so... Let's uh, get a long straight to do this. Alright, we're doing this straight. Let's go straight through here. Up on the curb on the left. Straight into a wall. And let's see if it moves. Obviously not. Obviously I know this isn't a really powerful uh, steering wheel, but at the same time, I thought a big clunk might have done something. But no, this thing is literally just as solid as when it is with the uh, with the seat on it. So yeah, like I was saying, this thing is uh, rock solid with or without the chair. Yeah, so what you could do, you could do this. You could take the seat off or completely don't assemble this part. Use another seat for yourself uh, and use the Cinematech K2 as a wheel stand. One thing I would say, uh, it does kind of lean down a little bit, so you can actually adjust slightly the height on the front end. Um, so obviously there's no supports there because it's supposed to mount into this, uh, just just here. There it is. It's supposed to mount like here, which gives it a little bit of extra lift. You could just put some carpet sliders, something underneath, just to try and give it some boost. Yeah, like I was saying, this is probably one of the um, most future-proof wheel stands you could probably buy. Uh, <laughs> you buy it basically as a whole kit. Uh, and then take away the kit that puts the seat on, have your own seat, um, save space, and then when you want to buy a seat later on, when you have the space, you've still got the, uh, the essentially it'll be flat packed, uh, <laughs> flat pack parts that you can then put a seat on. So if you don't mind the slight, you know, jankiness of it, especially with the seat that I have, you might have a different seat, you might have a chair that doesn't have wheels on it that will start sliding away. Um, so yeah, you could probably do it that way. But personally, I think this is probably... It worked better than I expected, I'll be honest. Uh, <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to be... I thought it would work, but I didn't think it would work that well. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a like. If you really liked it, then subscribe and play with the notification and do all that stuff. I've got to now spend the next 20 minutes putting it all back together. So <laughs> that's fun for me. It's not freeze frame, that was me just standing still. I uh, don't know what I'm doing. Cheers, guys. That'll do. <laughs> my bean bag's leaking. Got a leak. So I want it back with my chair. My chair. My chair. Oh, the car's on the left. Fucking three wide. Right.